one, Rarity Dash here, time for another blind commentary. And it's time for five more uh, Cinema Sins and Everything Wrong with MLP videos. Episodes six, 16 through uh, 20 of Season 1. As always, some thoughts about the episodes before we get started. Uh, Sonic Rainboom is my favorite episode of Season 1 and one of my favorite episodes overall. It's uh, really where my favorite uh, pony ship and eventual channel name was decided. It's uh, hard for me to really get too critical of it. Uh, there are probably some holes in there somewhere, though, and I'm sure he'll find some stuff I've never even considered about it before. Uh, Stairmaster is kind of a mediocre episode to me. I uh, kind of appreciate it as a Fluttershy episode, but the writing is pretty heavy-handed, and the CMC are extra obnoxious in it. I uh, know it's probably part of the point, but it's a little overdone. I can't think of much in the way of uh, logical flaws and the like, though. Ah, uh, well, there is a Sweetie in the gold silk at the beginning. It's whole one moment, and then seconds later, it's uh, the lining of her capes. And we don't see her <laughs> do anything in between. Doesn't seem in any way uh, reasonable how that happens. Uh, showstoppers, that's... Uh, Probably my least favorite uh, Season 1 episode. Now, I don't have the big problem with it that most people do. I actually find the irony of the situation, the idea that the CMC are so oblivious about where their truth, true strengths uh, lie as uh, something uh, charming, and I find the song pretty amusing too. No, the episode's biggest problem is uh, that it is really, really padded. The thing I hate to see most in MLP is a needless padding on the episodes, and that episode is one of the worst offenders in that regard. The plot takes forever to start uh, for all the interminable montages, and by that point, even though we do eventually get some amusing bits, I'm uh, pretty bored beyond the point of caring. <laughs> I don't know if uh, pacing problems is something a little shy uh, is going to count as a sin, though. We'll have to see. I'm sure there are other problems with episode 2, though. Uh, Dog and Pony Show. Uh, that's an episode I like. I find it interesting, the approach it takes. It, uh, it's, like, it's like the writers knew people would be unsure about how to receive Rarity's character. So uh, the episode practically is presenting her uh, merits as a character, where even the other characters doubt her. <laughs> it's fun, and... Uh, yeah, there are holes, though. Uh, one scene that has always uh, never made a lick of sense to me is the part where Spike fishes into the hole with the gem. Why is that hole not filled up when all of the countless others are? What does it hook onto, and how how does it hook onto anything, considering the way the hole snakes around when we see it? Uh, if a dog grabs it, why is there exactly nothing on the other end when they reach it? Also, when they do get underground, and uh, borrowing from a point that UFP made again, uh, why does it make sense that the dogs would be in the tunnels with the most gyms? Uh, a, they do not know how to find the gyms very well, which is why they need rarity, and B, they, uh, they would be digging in the tunnels that they're in, which would probably mean there would be less gyms, if anything. Uh, finally, green isn't your color. That's a fun episode. I like photo finish. I can't really think of many flaws with this one. I mean, there's pinky defying in all reasonable sense, but uh, that's more a feature than a real problem. It's a pretty solid one as far as I'm concerned. Okay, maybe the ease with which uh, Rarity leads the crowd is a bit of a stretch, but it eh, works for me. Anyway, let's get started. Okay. Everything wrong with Sonic Rainbow in three minutes or less. Spoilers. Duh. <laughs> Theme. If Dash <laughs> is trying to increase her speed to perform a Sonic Rainbow, why isn't she flapping her wings? I, really I never noticed that. that. Velocity would be fast enough for that. Also, with all that wind resistance, there's no way she'd be yeah, able to. Yeah, he's gonna analyze uh, guys, the physics. Isn't moving. <laughs> <laughs> That's not good. It's quite odd of Pinky to forget such an event. She doesn't know it's the rainbow. On the other hand, originates from in Equestria. Wow, Fluttershy sure gets talkative when it's time to talk behind some pony's back. <laughs> Rarity's manners are that really makes sense for Fluttershy, episode, aren't they? Page 
Well, she just I wants think to Pie has been practicing help Dash in her spare at this time. point. Applejack's mouth moves to gasp in awe, but Twilight's voice comes out. <laughs> Sasa Flash's cutie mark bears great resemblance to Generation 1 Fireflies, and a Nazi military symbol. Overused insult is overused. Rainbow crash. Yeah. Rainbow crash. Rainbow yeah. Crash. That gets kind of annoying after a while. But an old mare's tail. I think some pony's in denial. <laughs> I don't think. Well, he was kind of wiped out. Here. She's just plain being mean at this point. Like yeah. Smashing. smashing. So the balloon can go through this cloud, but not this one. I know. I know. It's all thanks to magic. <laughs> Measuring air. This worker's incompetence. <laughs> Yeah. Did they make these Reference suits just for the weather factory? The magnified eye pick, I guess. All on its own. I can sense rarity fans worldwide cringing at the sight of their favorite pony. No, I kind of love how she acts in this episode. What's wrong, Pinky? I thought you liked spicy things. We act stupid because we're the antagonists. <laughs> Lens flare. AJ and Twilight ditched their worker hats. Uh, wait, no, uh, Twilight's is back now. I guess Lyra found the spell too. Yeah. That's the <laughs> I love how Lyra is in this episode. Moment, then backstage the next. Derpy changes these Pegasi into Earth ponies with her dirt power. <laughs> Maybe Iron Whale sells foam fingers. I'm guessing these Possibly? three don't have toys made of them. Derpy's numbers backwards. <laughs> Cloud Kicker was number five just a few moments ago. Leroy this Leroy outfit is Jenkins. absolutely hideous. <laughs> I think it looks kind of the princess. Okay, not good, but interesting. Wonder bolts or rarity? Did some animator forget to insert the ground here, or is rarity just falling sideways? <laughs> Dash has to form a complete rainbow before she finishes saving their lives. Number appears, then disappears, then appears again. I did it. You saved my life. Oh yeah, I did that too. Rainbow Dash obviously has <laughs> misplaced priorities. Help me! I've been frozen like this for days. So, are the bullies only nice to Dash now that they see her as a success and wish to use her, or do they just magically become decent individuals? Eh, the whole end and a shot of the characters fading into the sunset thing doesn't really work when your characters are up this high. They have to foolishly turn around and come back at some point, right? Yeah, I don't think so. For Rainbow Dash, I will go first. <laughs> Rarity is Yay! first. Accidental Rube Goldberg machine <laughs> causing inexplicable mayhem. <laughs> That's so sweetie for you. By the time between we hear the entry bell and Fluttershy's appearance in the bedroom doorway, she must have been booking it up the stairs. Fluttershy claims that she has no control over her stair power. I can imagine that making for some awkward encounters. <laughs> yeah, this probably. This all new meaning to the term rubbernecking. Oh, wow. Sweetie Belle imitates a small dog. <laughs> what is Opal doing to Fluttershy? I can't <laughs> seem to find Trottingham anywhere in the poster map, but if it's farther away than Canterlot, there's no way Rarity would reach her deadline. Fluttershy says goodbye and starts to leave, but then she decides to linger in the doorway for half a minute for no reason whatsoever before re-entering again. Also for no reason whatsoever. <laughs> More like Mission Impossible. We realized at the end of season one that Scootaloo's main piece had a little pink pixel floating in the air. That was the last of gold silk! Yeah, what happened to all that silk you left in the middle of the room? Uh, yeah, that's what I was talking about. There's nothing here now, then blue fabric appears and quickly vanishes, <laughs> then the gold silk appears out of nowhere. Repetitive gag. Was this saddlebag thrown out the window? What do you want to do? Play a game? <laughs> Darn it, Fluttershy. I lose. Missing left hind leg. Oh, the game. Scootaloo picks up the part too. of the creature costume, but then we see another just like it back on the floor. The CMC <laughs> abruptly switched seating order. Sweetie Belle is a cat. But we're not even tired. Really? Not even a little bit tired at four in the morning? Oh wow. Sweetie Belle's lack of a home. Never noticed the clock. Uh, like birdhouses, so we got a birdhouse and a bird's house. <laughs> Sweetie Belle doesn't have a left ear. Scootaloo's oh. torn cape disappears in the following shot. That is not how you call a chicken. And so the world's most popular, least funny joke was. <laughs> Why yeah, that's pretty overdone. Long, even though she left for Zakora's house hours ago. What, what would the cutie mark of some pony whose talent is arguing even look like? Insert political joke here. <laughs> well, there she is. Fluttershy's wings are stone here, then open and upright here. You're the stairmaster. <laughs> we'll listen to you from now on. We promise. Well, they also promised not to go into the forest in the first place, so I wouldn't trust them. Yeah, anymore. you can't really the trust CMC them. The are just about to run into the fence as the camera pans. Not to bite off more than I could chew. You and Rarity both. Speak of the devil and she doth appear. They sure repaired that fence quickly. 
There's no way Twilight would have seen this wink. Also, this jump glitch. Alright, so here's what I took away from the episode. Twilight goes to Zakora's for some special tea, and ends up stoned. <laughs> yeah. Oh wow. Really? I never noticed any of that. Yeah. Theme. When did Ponyville become covered in sand? <laughs> if you play this part backwards, I hear you can make an entire scooter disappear. Anyone who has ever owned a scooter knows that there's no way Scootaloo could go off-roading with those tiny wheels. You're liable to flip over the handlebars if you hit a ladybug. Derpy loves watching Scoots do tricks, but she's also keeping a close eye on that silly <gasps> belly punch. Why is Granny Smith's go-to phrase always soups up? <laughs> Poorly maintained to have such logs and branches so clearly in the way. I like a bit when someone says it's bigger on the inside. Scootaloo's Yeah, he does look much bigger on the inside. <laughs> what cutie mark would involve wearing s oh. <laughs> yeah! Mindless background ponies drawn in by the sound of a bell. <laughs> Salvation Army would make a killing in Ponyville. Crossed out library, even though they haven't been there yet. This game doesn't make any sense. It's a shame because Hasbro owns the rights to tons of board games that would make for a great subtle reference. Apple Bloom's eye color is contagious. They must have updated to Minecraft 1.7. Freshwater Coral. <laughs> also, I think the animators forgot part of the ground here. Cheerly saddlebags appear out of thin air. Freaky eye twitch. Scootaloo's missing wings. A magic show put on by a unicorn with no magical ability would probably be better suited under the comedy category. Yeah. Uh, that title drop was so forced it hurt. Sweetie Belle doesn't have a left ear. <laughs> Again. Taking the previous episode into consideration, the CMC sure aren't a very trustworthy group, are they? Virtually none of the supplies mentioned here are accurate. For example, there's only two cans of paint in the wagon and far more than six planks. Scootaloo's lips move for Apple Bloom's line. Scootaloo has a very sensitive <laughs> tail. I think oh Sweetie Belle broke That's her tongue. Serious. Sweetie Belle utilizes a full-grown mare mannequin for their Philly Fit outfits. That's a good point! Thinking out loud. <laughs> and something tasty will reappear. A rabbit stew, perhaps? My little ponies. <sighs> it was painful the first time, but the second title drop is just pitiful. <laughs> yeah! For another generation, I'm sure that'd be a joke to make here. The most sensitive switch of all time. Shouldn't the show host be on stage directly following the last act? What is the audience doing all this time? No. I knew it! Twist Cutie Mark was a fake. <laughs> Commence undeserved suspense. Many ponies of the audience are facing the complete opposite direction. Scootaloo has Sweetie Belle's eye color. One day. <laughs> One day. <laughs> yeah, that face. Scootaloo is singing. Mind-blowing. Rarity does her work in complete darkness. <laughs> this jewel chest disappears Just because she and suddenly can. reappears when it becomes relevant to the block. <laughs> Sapphire never closes the door. Theme. Yet another instance in which Rarity has a special talent introduced, which is then immediately duplicated by some <laughs> pony else. Is no pony going to yeah. question these perfectly cut and polished gems randomly strewn about? No. That's just how it works in Equestria. Okay. Storyboard is visible. Oh wow. Nine foreshadowing. Jackhammers can't operate on dirt. Spike digs up hundreds of gems, only to be paid one since all of the others go to his employer. Yep, that's a pretty good metaphor for life. Something wrong, Spike? Yes, why is everything pink? Terrible to keep a lady waiting. Shut up, Rarity. Maybe Spike's tired from doing all of the hard work. Spike and Rarity awkwardly pause simply to allow the dogs to say their lines. And Darth Vader. I think AJ's a bit overly optimistic about such a serious situation. Yeah. Dang, these spiders are fast with their web making. 
We look at the camera to suggest that this is a comedic scene. <laughs> How does dirt work? This whole yeah. scene is pretty lame. Yeah. Instead of working together to dig a single hole, every pony foolishly tries to dig their own. The diamond dogs seem to have no problem magically passing. Yeah, the that's another good point. Nightmare fuel. Oh wow! And then suddenly the day is saved by a randomly appearing hole that the dogs seem to have overlooked. Yep. Rover both gives the order and follows through with it. Oh, so that's how swords work. Missed opportunity for a hot dog <laughs> pool. The dogs must keep these lights around for underground dance parties. Pony lips. So was AJ clued into this little daydream at all, or does Spike just randomly try to kiss <laughs> ponies off? Him? We've seen Rainbow Dash fly while carrying much more weight than this. For some reason, Dash and Fluttershy are only in this scene if you're watching on the television. Oh wow, that's interesting. Oh, how convenient. Rarity complaining and whining her way out of a situation isn't exactly the best lesson for kids. Or adults. The gag involving Rarity's little takeover is probably the worst paced joke in the entire series. She I goes from slave to master to completely back to disagree. In like three seconds. This could have actually been really funny had the joke been given more time to develop. Rarity doesn't like being called a mule, but she has no problem with having her rear slapped. That's also, a good point too. Equestrian racism against <laughs> mules. No, no, you're still beautiful. You're just saying that. Girls on the internet in and out. Why is Twilight still casting her spell? Isn't it quite obvious that Rarity is in this direction since, you know, it's the only way to go? She must be in there. Dash put too much emphasis on in rather than on there. Fuck him up. That line exists. <laughs> Door made of jello. Twilight's bridal appears out of thin air. Hi ho Twilight. Away. Every pony is bored out of their minds with this rescue mission. <laughs> How did every pony manage to get those wagons out of there anyway? <laughs> dogs, I hate dogs. Yes, show both to finish something. This conversation has so many extremely long pauses for it to take place in such different areas. <laughs> At least, like, apparently, the spa has giant front windows for the sauna. Use of a privacy screen, even though basically every pony is naked anyway. <laughs> yeah. This frame. Pinkie Pie loses her head. Fluttershy and Rarity vanish. There are so many things wrong with this camera that an expert photographer could probably make an entire Sins video on it alone. <laughs> Wouldn't the camera capture itself in the mirror at this angle, or at the very least some pony else in the room? So much for professional photographer. Ladies do not flip out. <laughs> Photo finish exits through the door and returns for no apparent reason. Twilight's cutie mark on photo finishes flank. Rarity's meager squeeze startles Pinky for some reason. Pegasus, Earth Pony. Something inspired by the nature. Photo finish wants Fluttershy to pose in her all-natural <laughs> birth suit. Rarity apparently doesn't see Fluttershy's nature-oriented dress right in front of her face. Pinky's secret yeah? part-time job. <laughs> These lighting umbrellas serve no purpose at all in this arrangement. Suddenly, Apple and carriage juice sales skyrocket. Every pony in Ponyville has a better camera than photo finish. <laughs> This is why you should never buy Derby brand bells. These photographers have no idea what they're doing, do they? All they're yeah. capturing is a reflection of their own camera flashes in the window. Sorry, you just missed her. Careful, Rarity. Your Luna is showing. Oh, I get it. Hasbro buys all those terrible overused images from Photo Finish. <laughs> Fluttershy's position suddenly changes. Hmm, there's something off with this framing. I, I can't quite put my finger on it, but I think... Uh, yep, yep, no one saw that coming. Rarity exits through the back door for no apparent reason. This black background is an animation error. The sharp edges suggest that it was rendered without a background, which was then converted to the color black by a lazy animator. <laughs> Fluttershy makes a big deal out of continuing her modeling career for Rarity's sake, but then goes along with the genius idea of sabotaging said career. Isn't that just as bad as simply quitting? Apple Cobbler oh. points at Fluttershy without even having a chance to recognize her. <laughs> Why is Photo Finish simply standing in the audience? Isn't she supposed to be some sort of famous photographer? Would you trust this face? Just leave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Equine racism. If that fabulous pony likes it, then I do too. Ponies have more in common with humans than you might think. <laughs> I'm not sure if Fluttershy's yeah. back hoof grows or if the pot shrinks. Bucks. Somewhere out there is a deleted scene of Fluttershy getting sued for breaching contract. I still can't believe Probably. Told someone about my secret feelings for rarity. Well, how did he find out? That he wasn't even there. Some pony yeah, that's a booger a on the sauna wall. Said. Twilight is upstairs in the dual bath area, and Spike is downstairs in the sauna, yet they talk to one another as if they were side by side. Okay, that's an interesting thing I never noticed. <laughs> I am so frustrated I could just scream. 
<laughs> Yay. Okay. So, uh, yeah, this continues to be a fun series. I do have to rather strongly disagree on the, all the points made about uh, Rarity and Dog and Pony Show, though. Uh, the context is the critical thing. She isn't whining for the sake of whining. She's noticed that the dogs aren't very smart and uh, do not know how to deal with her. So uh, she's using uh, that to her advantage. She escalates her behavior in just the right way to seize control of the, her situation and start to reverse it. It's a show of uh, cunning, which the scenes at the end uh, spell out uh, to leave little doubt. And uh, assessing a situation and changing your behavior in a way that might improve your standing in a precarious situation like that is definitely a good strategy for anyone, I'd think. Also, the entire sequence is one of the funniest in all of season one. Don't know <laughs> what he's talking about uh, when he says it wasn't funny. Uh, but I guess I don't, I don't know. <laughs> uh, those grips aside, yeah, this remains a fun time. It, it's, uh, fascinating to see all the technical er errors, uh, he finds. I, uh, can see at least some of the logic flaws coming sometimes, but, uh, all of the animation and sound errors are pretty much stuff I've never noticed before, and it's... Always interesting to see stuff like that. Anyway, it was fun. Uh, next time I come to the series, I'll uh, do six and close out season one, I think. Uh, hope you liked the commentary. Let me know if you did, and see you in the next one.